So you can see here, we got that adhesive on the back, all right? And this is going to help. I, I like to have the adhesive on the back before I start cutting it out because it keeps the stitches together if you get a little too close. And so we're just going to go ahead and cut this out. And man, this is one of the worst parts about this whole thing, man. Besides digitizing all these files, um, is cutting them out, man. And I really, you know, if this picks up. <laughs> if it picks up, um, you know, uh, I'm gonna definitely have to get, uh, one of those lasers man that could just automatically it'll read it look at it but them things are expensive even at the smallest level might even think about getting a chanel machine um if the patches pick up you know it is a it is it has become a big chunk of what we do here now and I was even thinking about, you know, my mom, letting my mom or hiring some kind of, some crackhead. I know it's, I ain't really trying to be funny, but, uh, you know, I run like 50 patches and I can have them come in 25, um, maybe 25 cents or 25 a quarter a patch. All right, that's what we got so far. And you see, he already looked kind of clean just, just on that before I even put the lighter on. We're going to keep going, though. And these, uh, these are the kind of uh, applique scissors I like. I have the other ones with the little duck lip on it. I don't like those. I like this one. And this one, I got me in some trouble now. I ain't going to lie. You know, this one will poke some holes, man. This one will cut some holes in some garments. But, uh... It's been the most effective for me, you know, in my opinion. Somebody else will tell you, because somebody made me buy them duck lips. They was like, yeah, these are the best ones. And uh, they may work for them. But, you know, they usually only about $10, $15. So, uh, you know, you can try them out, see what works best for you. But I won't buy no more of them duck lips. I don't even use them for applique no more. I use these. And I really need another pair. And so with this too, see I can poke because it's so sharp there. I can poke straight through, you know, parts like this. See? You poke straight through there and get these sides here. But there's nothing to this. It's really just you, um... You know, you just taking your time. Take your time and don't cut that darn satin stitch. Don't cut open that satin. Um, but you get the rushing and you can end up cutting it. But that's why we have that backing. Oh, we have that backing on the back. Not that backing, but yeah, the backing, but that adhesive because it holds them even if you hit it a little bit it holds them in place enough that you can burn them once we put this lighter on it because that's what i do next some people use the uh the heat gun i'm not a heat gun person i like using a lighter for some reason i, I ain't been sold i ain't been sold on the um the heat gun yet but that's what we got there all right just from cut now we're gonna burn the sides because you see you see here, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a little something on the edge there. And, um, you know, once you hit it with this lighter, man, all that stuff go away. And and it helps too, again, that glue, that glue burns also. So that part that it's on, that part that it's on, it's going to, uh, it's going to take that stuff away. 
don't know if y'all can see that. But you see, you got a little black right there. You heat it with this lighter, it's going to go away. You see now, it's gone. You got something in the corner right there a little bit. Hit it with that lighter. And it's gone. So ultimately, that's what it is, man. You got to be careful using these lighters because you can burn the darn adhesive and it don't stick right. And sometimes I even fold it. Sometimes I even fold it like that. You get inside of this little crevice here. But it ain't nothing to it, man. Um, and it don't have to be absolutely perfect. That's what a lot of y'all looking for, man. Y'all looking for this thing to be absolutely perfect, but uh, it don't really have to. All right. They sticking this thing on a book bag or a shirt or something. So, let me hit that bottom. Clear up these little fringes. These little loose. Uh, see how better that look. And you can't even tell. You'll think I just popped it out. Let me do one more. Well, I don't know. And that took me, what, about five, six minutes? It's a lot of time, man. That's a lot of time sitting here cutting. It's another one we got right here. It's a lot of time cutting, man. And this one, we, you got fabric here. Because we, I applicate this instead of stitching all the black, I applicate. Let's try to cut this out real quick. And I say, man, ain't really nothing to it. Um, but you know, I used to, ha I used to be the same way. I wanted it, I wanted it perfect. And I know people too who uh, applicate it first on the machine. They'll stitch it, they'll stitch it, and then cut it out and then put it back on the machine on a that machine i should have stopped that machine before i did this video but i'm so swamped right now y'all this is ridiculous you know you get so swamped when you start thinking you know you have to think about like how can you how can you work more efficiently but i think it's over it was a short run. Oh, no. No, it ain't. I thought it was over. And I had to re-digitize this patch. This is the first run time I did it. It looked all right, but some of the inside, um, some of the inside details, I shouldn't have, uh, I did a triple run stitch, and I should have just did a single And you know, you gotta get used to that too when you digitize it. I ain't got used to that yet. I can't, I have issues seeing how thick I need something. How thick I need a satin stitch or how thick, you know. You should already have certain numbers, certain, you know, settings in your head where, oh, okay. You know, all these satin stitches that I do like this, they're gonna be, you know, 0.25 or 0 0.025 or 0.098 you know I think that's default um, or you're gonna do you know uh, something bigger but you should already have in your head like you know this is where I want this stuff to be all right y'all so that's me cutting it out and me um and you see it's a little jagged it's a little jagged there and do I want to get in this gap here? You know, do I want to get, do I want to get inside of here? And this is what I was saying. See how the fingers, a little thick there? Could have did a single run stitch on some of this inside stuff. Um, but yeah, you can see it's a little jagged on the edges there. But again, we had, we used, well, we used fabric. So 
it's gonna be a little different burning fabric fabric will catch on fire you can catch fabric on fire see what i'm saying oh y'all can't see it but y'all see the smoke <laughs> y'all see the smoke Gonna hit that thing, man. Hit that thing like uh Chris Rock on New Jack City, man. And you know these lighters get hot. I only recommend big lighters. <laughs> you know, you get your you get your money's worth. You see, he's smoking. And I'm glad I did this video because now I can see about how long it takes me to cut a patch out. And man, we had about five minutes. We had about five minutes, man. And so I can add that to the calculations. You know, what can you do? What else you want? They're not going to know. You know? So it's not that difficult. Um, you doing it the right way. It's just you're probably not using a good backing to match the, uh, to match. Let me see what that is. You're probably just not doing a good um a good a good backing your no, backing don't match so it look a little funny and like i said that fabric can burn so be careful i think that's what's giving me that discoloration there is that i burnt that fabric but if you use twill it's just twill is so expensive. If I use twill, it, it'll burn a lot better. You know what I'm saying? But uh, even with this, you know, pull away from it a little bit. You uh, you ain't going to be mad at that. So, you know, you're going to grab that patch and you're going to stick it on something. And that's going to be the end of the day. Now, if you really, really, you just, you know, you're anal about a lot of stuff. You know, you can take a, you can take a marker and go and clean it up some more for me this is sellable i'm about to i'm about to take pictures of this and put it up on s and uh see if i can sell some of these things so uh it's that simple man just a lighter adhesive adhesive first adhesive first then get you a lighter cut it out and then you know clean it up with a lighter uh i don't think you can i don't know about that heat gun man i i don't know about that not with uh not with these patches um it works well with hats and puff but uh not with uh not with these patches you need a lighter but I'll see y'all on the next one.